Good afternoon and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to work with a Simply Charmed cartridge, Cricut cartridge, and we're going to be making a very cool pot of gold. Let me show you here, the Simply Charmed book. What we're going to be making is going to be located on page 33, and the item I like is on the little shift of layer 4 for this key. So I've decided to go to my Gypsy. I like my Gypsy for sizing and seeing um, on the mat how big it is. That really helps me to determine what, if I like the size, if I don't like the size, and move it around. Like I started at three and a half, and it was huge. And now I've ended up at um, two and three quarters. So what I've done here is I started with two cauldrons, okay? And then I went to the hide feature over here right there and I hid on the opposite ones the different parts so as you can see the one on the left is the gold and the one on the bottom on the right is the cauldron so what you want to do to save paper or what I do is you can do one of two things with this item you can just move it up so it blocks the gold or you can hide the gold. I've done both, um, but I realized after I really didn't have to block the gold because I could just move it up and hide it from there. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up the Cricut, the Gypsy to the Expression, and we're there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the cut, or we're going to, yeah, we're going to hit cut. Okay, and it comes up with the with the options there. On the mat I have loaded Crushed Curry by Stampin' Up! and I have loaded Basic Black by Stampin' Up! So what we're going to do is we are going to load this into our Cricut. Okay. And up here on the I'm going to push the load mat key to get my mat loaded in there. Let me show you the button there. You can see it. It Where it says unload mat, it said load mat. And over here, it shows you the little pieces. This is what's going to cut. This is what you've chosen. So if it looks wrong here, or if you see pieces off the side of the mat, you're going to want to go back and fix that. Okay, but if everything looks okay and it looks great to me, that's exactly what I wanted. I'm going to come over and I'm going to hit this key and it's going to pop up and it's going to make sure that I check before that the blade depth and the pressure, it's good, it saved me sometimes I was doing these. Okay, so everything's fine with me. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cut. And we'll be right back after we're done with our pieces. Okay. As you can see, we've got our two pieces, our cauldron and our gold cut out. And what we're going to do now is we can set the cauldron aside because we don't need the cauldron right now. What we're going to do is we are going to use Tim Holtz's Distress Powder on here. And we're going to get it to try to bubble. That's what we want. We want it to like gold and all bubbly and just kind of cool. Now, um, as I told you before in previous videos, I do not tell you I like a product if I don't like it. I use the product if I like it. I'm, I'm honest. I'm not going to try to upsell you something. So this is the best heat gun I've ever used. It doesn't smell nasty. I had one by Nicole was my first one. And I really, really hated heat guns until I got this one, until I used this one. This one is fabulous. I love it. It is so great. Best heat gun I've ever used. Some people may not like that one, but that's that I really like. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to take our Versamark ink. This is a watermark stamp pad, and it's going to hold like a, not, I don't want to say glue, but it holds the distress powder. I guess you could say it's kind of like a glue. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our gold, and we're going to put it right side down into the Versamark. I try not to get all sticky and nasty too, but okay. And then we're going to put this in here. I'll cover over some mark. And we are going to oh, I'm gonna cut open. I can use this one. Okay. 
course it doesn't want to open because it's on camera. If I was doing it by myself, it would rip right open. Okay, and you're kind of in a hurry. Once you do the Versa mark, you want to be ready to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to just pour a whole huge heaping amount there. And what I like to do, make sure you don't do this with your Versa mark because the as the powder will stick to the Versa mark here, it'll stick to the Versa mark anywhere. So that's why I like to do my Versa mark on the outside and then do my powder on the inside so it only sticks where it's supposed to stick. And then we're going to get our tweezer bees. And we are going to find our piece of paper. Now what we're going to do a lot of surfaces, heat will warp them. Um, my pad here just to show you on, hopefully you can see that. That got warped because of my heat gun. I actually had done one really bad. I went out and bought another pad and I did it right again. So, until I can learn not to do that, I'm not buying myself another one. This is great. Um, I had showed you this for stamping. It makes your images really crisp. You can also use your heat gun, and it will not kill this. So, we're going to give this a whirl. I haven't tried this before. Okay, so let's... Now, make sure to let your heat gun run for a second so it actually heats up. Otherwise, you're going to be putting some cold heat, and it will warm up while you're doing your project. So, let it warm up for a second. Test it. Okay, it's nice and warm. So what we're going to do, we are going to get up close and personal with this. And I like to keep going with it. So we've done that. So now we're going to put it back in the Versa mark. Make sure I have the right side. It's especially good when it's hot and sticky. And don't worry if you get a little bit in your Versamark pad, it's okay. It won't ruin it. And this is kind of a speed thing. You want to go kind of fast. hard to see it on the camera. But you can see it change color to where it's done the powder. So I'm going to keep doing this a few times. I won't have to make you have to watch that over the times I do it. But I'll do it and when I come back I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so I did I did this probably three or four times with the mustard seed distress powder and heated it up, put it back in the Versa mark, back into the powder, heat it again. So I did that about three times. Now at the end, what you're going to do is you're going to take I had that white piece of printer paper that I put my powder in on the inside. You're just going to take that and you're going to dump it back into your distress powder so you can use it again. That saves you money and it makes those powders last a really long time. So what I want to do, I'm very happy with how it came out. Let me zoom in for you so you can see better. Okay. So what I'm going to do now on top of this, and I'm not going to work on top of there. Let me, maybe hard for you guys to see. Hopefully it sticks out enough for you to see. I don't think I can um, zoom in any further now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this is actually scattered straw of the distress stickles. I didn't end up having any of the mustard seed. So what I want to do is I want to just put some of this over the top, just in certain places, just so it, it has that little shimmer. I think actually I'm going to put it all over because I want that shine that it has from the stickles. Nice and shiny. So I think it's kind of cool. It gives it dimension. It gives it texture. I mean, you can cut it out and put it on there. I'm sure it'd be fine. It would look great. I'm positive. 
I mean, anything you want to do, but this is where my imagination took me. This is what I thought would look really, really cute. So when that dries, what we're going to have is this will be our finished product. And what I think I'll end up doing is if we don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to put this on something like a card or a board or something. Um, I don't know if it's for her uh, daycare. I know it's for the kids, but I don't know what we're going to actually end up doing with it. Because you, as you can see, I mean, you're going to need to attach the gold to something. You can't just have it floating out there. And it won't look as good if it's down, I think, down in here. So we'll figure something out. The other thing I want to warn you about, this is a little bumpy in the middle. It's because of the heat. Okay? And when it dries, it's going to bunch up a little bit. So... I like that. I think it adds character to my project. I really love that. So I want to keep that. If you don't want to, you could always put it in between something heavy, put a book on it or something, and that would probably flatten it out good for you. So I hope you like our little project here. I had a good time making the project with you, and I will see you soon in the future. Have a great day.